And so in this tutorial, I'll be introducing you to a new and a unique computer vision platform called Lightly AI. Lightly AI, unlike the other platform, is a computer vision platform that helps you to do data creation, model training, and model deployment on edge devices. Lightly AI makes your model more faster, more efficient, and more accurate. So Lightly AI comes with something we call Lightly Train, which is one of my favorites. Very unique. It's the first platform to introduce this actually. And this is what makes them stand out, what makes them very unique from all other platforms. Lightly Train is the first speed training PyTorch framework that just allows you to train your models without labeling them. We all know and we are aware about how it's difficult to uh, train computer vision model due to you annotating all these images one after the other. And that's very tedious task. No one wants to uh, really go into that. That's what draws people back where they want to train their very own computer vision models. With Lightly Train, you don't need to do that. They take care of that for you. All you need to specify is to give the path to your data and they will take care of that for you. You don't need to annotate any image. You don't need to label any image. Just give the path and they will take care of that for you. They are using something we call SSL, which is self-supervised training. So it takes care of that at the background. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to annotate any image. They will take care of that. And this makes them stand out. This makes them unique. So in this tutorial, I'll be taking you through how you can easily train your model using Lightly Train. And I'll also show you their documentation or you can do with Lightly Train in this particular tutorial. So make sure you watch this video to the end and leave your honest feedback. Without much ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so to start off, I'll take you through a quick tour around the official documentation website for Lightly Train. Over here on their website, everything is clearly explained. So you can quickly follow up to get started. All right. So in their quick start guide, which is very important, you can quickly install Lightly Train by just copying this right here. So just like any other Python package, you do pip install Lightly Train and that's all. That will install it for you. Then we'll move on to how to prepare your data set. Okay. So just as I said in my intro, with Lightly Train, you don't need to annotate your images. Okay. It takes care of that for you. So all you need to do is to give it the path to your data set. So you have a folder called my data set. Just give the path to that particular folder. And it's going to read all the images in that folder and train the model for you. If you also have a folder that contains subfolders containing different types of images, it works as well. Just give the path to the main folder. It's going to read all the images in the sub directory. So yeah, that's how simply you can prepare your folder. There is nothing hard when it comes to using Lightly Train. Everything is made easy for you. Just specify path and then you train your model. Then moving on to how to train the model, you can see you just import Lightly Train and then you need to give the path to your folder and that's all. So I'll throw more life on this when I take you through the Google Colab notebook example okay so from here another key thing i'll take you through is this the output folder structure right after training your model you get an output folder which contains um the model checkpoints okay so you have the model checkpoint and most importantly you have the spotted last.pt which is your final model you can export so you get access to all of this right after training your model which is uh very 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 good then after training your model Another fantastic thing about Lightning Train is that you can fine tune this model with any of your favorite models out there. So it's very simple. And over here, um, they are using the PyTorch library to fine tune this ResNet model. Okay, so you can see how easy it is. You can use any of your uh, preferred libraries to do this. Okay, and it's very, very easy to fine tune right after training the model with this uh, minimal code. You can also use Lightly Train to create embeddings where you can generate embeddings and store them in a beta store and later retrieve them to ask questions based on that particular embedding. So you can see how one package can help you to achieve all of this. And you do all of this with very minimal lines of code. You don't have to write a lot of code. You simply copy from here and it will work. Okay. So yeah, that is it. You can explore these other sessions, train which elaborates more about their training process. You can look at the other libraries they support. All right, so from here, I'll take you through this simple collab notebook I prepared for you to train your model using Lightning Train. 
Okay, so first of all, you just need to install Lightly Train. So pip install Lightly Train and I'm adding neutralities here. Actually, I'll not be using neutrality, so I'll get rid of it for now. So just hit this app and this will go ahead to install Lightning Train for you. But before you do, make sure you change your runtime. So click on runtime and click change runtime. Make sure it's on T4 GPU so that you can leverage the GPU. This will enable you to train your model very fast. Okay. So yeah, let me just hide this for now. And the next thing is very important, the path to your data set. Because I'm using Google Colab, what I'm doing is I've uploaded my data set to my Google Drive. So over here on Colab, I have to mount my Google Drive. So to mount your drive, make sure you click here and this will mount your drive for you. So I have already mounted my, you can see, um, we have a mount drive there. So I've already mounted it. That's why I have drive here. And over here in my drive, I have images. So I have image of cat and dog. So when I open cat and dog, you can see here we have cats, here we have dogs. So these two folders contain images of cat and dog. But what I need to do is to copy the path to the folder which contains the other folders having the images. So just copy that particular path. So the path to the main folder containing the subfolders. If it's only one folder having the images, then you can give the path to that particular uh, folder. So I'll paste that here and that's it. So when I click run, this will run and then I've gotten the path to that particular folder. If you are running this in VS Code and everything, then you just have to give the path to your data set on your, on your computer. So if it's on desktop, give path to that particular um, folder. Then from here, we import likely train and this code is on the website. So you can see it's, it's right here. You just import it and you can just uh, work it out. Okay. So I've imported likely train and to train likely train dot train outside here we have out and out is equal to out my experiment. So this will be the output folder that will be created for you. Then the second thing is to give the path to your data set. So data is equal to my data path because I've specified data path right here. The model I'm using right here is storage vision resonance 50. So I'll be using that particular one. Uh, you can choose any of the models you want to use, but I'll be using resonance 50. And the method is distillation. I'm using distillation because from their guide, uh, this dist model distillation works very well. And the epochs, I'll be using only five. So only five iterations for now. But if you are training a uh, model, make sure you increase it so that you have a better model. This is because I just wanted to finish up early because this is a tutorial. Okay, so just teaching you the process so that you can replicate the same process and have your model trained. For batch size, I'm using 128. Okay, so based on your data set, you can increase the batch size or decrease it. I think I have quite some number of images, so 128 is good. So I'll just hit on run here and uh, trust me, I've got some error. So output experiment is not empty, so set override to true. Okay, so I've already run this before recording this tutorial. So you can see I have the output folder here. And uh, because it's already there, I'm having some errors. So all I have to type here is overwrite is equal to true so that it will overwrite whatever is in that particular folder. So this is all I need to write. And then I'll rerun this. And now you can see this have loaded the images and also loaded all the transformations is going to apply to these particular images. Straight up, we are training one out of uh, about five epochs. So the training two epochs. So it will finish right now. But in your case, make sure you increase the number of epochs so that you have a more capable model. We are now at four out of five epochs, so um, this should be done in no time. So our training is done and uh, we can now continue. So you can see uh, everything is done over here. Now we have the output folder and in the output folder, we have my experiment and inside my experiments, you can get your model checkpoints. So these are the model checkpoints. You can see we have last.ckpt and you can use any of the frameworks, either TensorFlow or PyTorch to read this to further fine tune this model. We also have the exported model, which is exported last.pt. So you can also read this in. And if you want to fine tune this, you can use uh, any framework of your choice. So over here, that's the same guide here. So after training the model, you can use PyTorch to fine tune it. And this is the process. You can just follow this or copy this code and then uh, specify the path to your model with train. So make sure you are using the last.exported last.pt, which is 
right here. So if all you have to do is to copy that particular path here, copy path and copy that code and make sure you specify the path here and go ahead and fine tune your own model out of uh, this. I'm not going to do this in this particular tutorial, but in my subsequent videos, I'll uh, build more projects using Lightning Train. So guys, this is all I want to teach you in this particular tutorial. In upcoming tutorials, we'll fully uh, explore and also build some fantastic stuff with Lightly Train. But trust me, Lightly Train is a great platform and there is a lot you can achieve uh, using their platform because they've automated a whole lot of steps for you. Everything is now easy. You don't need to annotate uh, images, which is what I love most about this because um, the pain that comes with image annotation is unbearable and it's a very costly uh, task to do. So be rest assured I'll be sharing the documentations, all the files and some pre-trained models with you guys. So make sure you check the video description and you are going to get access to all of that. Thanks for watching and uh, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and also share this video with someone you know it will definitely be important to. Thanks for watching once again and I'll see you in the next tutorial.